Welcome to another Pixlet tutorial. And this tutorial is going to look at two more tools in the toolbar, the pinch tool and the bloat tool. These two here. Both used to warp or distort an image. So if you want to reduce uh, a chubby face, for example, you might use the pinch tool. If you want to beef up some muscles, you can use the bloat tool. So let's just open an image, a picture of a man with a chubby face. Uh, you could use the pinch tool to take some of the face, pinch a bit of the face, or reduce the size of the face. So if I want to reduce the size of the face, I'm going to use the pinch tool to maybe take off a little bit of that uh, face. And you've got limited characteristics up here. So it's a bit too big at the moment, that brush. And if I wanted to start here, and there's a little plus on the middle of that brush, which is where I want that center to be. And you just start clicking. And as you click, you reduce the size of the man's face. Now you can use other tools like the clone stamp tool or put uh, a filter over the top of this to smooth out the skin when you're done because it can sort of see there's some imperfections there. And you can do the other size as well. You can play around with the strength. You can pinch anything you want to make it a bit smaller. And any time you go too far, you can use the history panel to undo what you've done or edit undo so I might just undo that and we do the other side so this would be a good tool if you wanted to, to remove love handles or double chins uh, you could also use it to warp and distort um, other images to make really strange cat pictures or dog pictures. And then once I'm satisfied with that, uh, use some of the other tools that we've covered, such as uh, the clone stamp tool, for example, to try and get uh, the, the skin looking a little bit more like the rest of the face. So clone that part so it doesn't look like we've actually taken anything off. So I have another image and you often see pictures that have been distorted and warped and they use the pinch and the bloat tool. So if I wanted to make this cat's eyes really large, I could use the bloat tool, which is this one, and make the brush, the size of the eye, that's a bit too big, still too big. And look at the strength, I'm not sure it will start with 50. We'll go up to 80 and see how it looks. And then just keep clicking and making the pupils of the eye a bit bigger. And then if you wanted to, you could use that those pinch and bloat tools to uh, warp and distort the rest of the image. The other way to use the bloat tool is to enhance a part of the body. So if I wanted to improve the, the muscles of, of this skinny model, uh, we could use the, the bloat tool. And first of all, get the brush not too large, just sort of as big as the, the muscle. Let me change the strength a bit. And then you can see that muscle starting to beef up a bit. And it'd be now, a careful job, take a while, and build up the muscles so it's not so skinny and in need of a good feed. So the pinch tool removes parts of the image, the bloat tool beefs them up. Not much to it really. 
That's all for this video.